All right, hello again for part three of lecture five of CENG 4412 Steel and Concrete Design. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a very short part of the lecture. I just wanted to, uh, I felt this would be good to self-contain in its own small subunit. Okay, so uh, as we go through this, as we go through this class, we are, uh, at least for uh, steel design, we're going to see, uh, well, for both steel and concrete, we are going to see uh, many different things as we go through the semester. However, um, uh, it's what we have time to go through in class, even what I have time to put to, even what time I have to put together on these videos. Um, often students are uh, left wanting more examples. Well, there is, they, uh, it always helps to see more examples, more way to work things out. Uh, examples, examples, examples. You can never have enough examples. Okay, so at least for AISC, you're in luck. There is a resource at your fingertips that will help you uh, uh, familiarize yourself with a lot of these uh, design concepts. So. Uh, here's how you get to it. Um, you can simply go to Google and search uh, AISC Design Examples. And uh, the website you want is this here, AISC slash Global Assets, etc. Don't even need to log. Don't even need to log into Canvas for it. So I, I could post a link, but I thought I think I'll just throw this up there. Um, throw this video up there, and then go here. Now this is going to be the 14th edition, not the 15th. Um, but uh, anyway, well, actually, uh, yeah, this is the 14th, not the 15th. This is going to reference a previous edition of the Steel Manual, but the changes shouldn't be that different. So uh, here, uh, or you could go to Univers uh, AIS Equal Assets University Programs Teaching Aids for semester design examples here. Uh, or, uh, and then, so, let's go down and look at the table of contents of this thing. Uh, let's see, scratch down, okay. So what do we have here? Notice we have all of these uh, numerous design examples, um, such as members of tension, such as uh, compression, flexure, shear, etc. So um, this is going to have numerous examples uh, worked out, long form examples, uh, like the ones we go through in class for designing various tension compression members, etc. So let's go down to say D1 here, uh, D1. Let's consider that. That would be, again, they're named after the chapters within the code, um, within chapter 16. So design of members for tension. It goes into look uh, effective net area, goes into some of these things. And look, we have a given, uh, select a W8, an 18 inch W shape, ASTM A992, I can't talk, to carry a dead load of 30 kips and a live load of 90 kips in tension. The member is 25 feet long. Verify the member strength by both LRFD with the bolted end connection shown. The verify the member, satisfy the recommended slenderness limit, uh, etc. And you can see that as well. We haven't covered slenderness yet. Um, that's uh, something we might get to uh, early uh, later on. But and you can see as uh, as they walk through the various uh, calculations. So, um, and that's really uh, what we're doing in class. Although you know in a video it's a little bit more helpful perhaps. But uh, that's the general idea. So as we work through this, uh, if you need more examples uh, for working through things, more than we can do in class, I really would suggest you go through this, uh, look through this. It's going to be a great resource. This, There are just dozens upon dozens upon dozens of examples. This is a total of 125 pages of various steel calculations. So uh, this can be a useful tool in you, in, uh, for, uh, for you as you study through at least the steel portion of this semester. All right. Again, I told you this would be a very short portion of this video, so thank you.